kind of really stinks that they're taking away something that I know so many people have worked so hard for and I just I don't think it's really fair to them. New at 11, first or second in class, no more. Mason City Schools is getting rid of valedictorian and salutatorian honors, honors that is, all to help students' mental health. 900 Sides' Jake Ryle joins us live right now from Mason High School with reaction from parents and students. What are they saying, Jake? Well, Craig, how would you feel if you worked hard for three years at Mason High School trying to earn top honors in a class of around 900 students only to have that title stripped away in the 11th hour? Students and parents I talk to say they're not happy about the decision. Samantha Segerman reflects. Definitely a lot of pressure that I put on myself. Active in marching band, she graduated from Mason High School two years ago. It was me wanting to do the best I could and as much I as much as I could to try to impress colleges and she graduated with above a 4.0 GPA. I know I wasn't in the top 10%. So when she found out her alma mater was doing away with what matters to so many, she was stunned. That is so surprising to me because for nothing else than these kids have worked since their freshman year, some of them even in eighth grade. Her brother, a junior at Mason High, Sue Segerman, Samantha's mom, worries for some students in her son's class, all of their hard work will be for nothing. If they've been working really hard and pushing really hard, but that is a goal, and then that kind of gets pulled out from under your feet, I kind of feel like that sort of stinks for the, the junior class right now. It, along with a GPA change, are moves the school district hopes will improve students' mental wellness, such as moving to a five-point weighted credit scale from a four-point scale. Some we talk to are worried it could have a negative impact, taking away drive and motivation. Almost unmotivate people, I guess, because there's not, you know, something to work towards to, you know, to try to get, you know, be that person. Now, students will continue to be recognized at graduation using the Latin uh, scale system, the Latin honor system. For any students earning above a 4.0 GPA, they will be given the uh, summa cum laude award, and those changes are set to take an effect next year. For now, reporting live in Mason, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.